today i discuss one important theorem okay related to system of linear equations so we now discuss this important theorem related to reduced row equivalent problem okay so we write this theorem now in this way let a b let a b okay and m cross n matrix and m cross n matrix okay of rank r of rank r we know about that m, m cross n matrix rank r equal to what and for r greater than zero okay for r greater than zero and let b be the reduced and let b be the reduced okay reduced row equal and form row equal and form of a of a then what happen then first one the number of non-zero rows in b is r the number of non-zero rows in b is r okay and b option b for each i equal to one two dot 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 r for each i equal to one two dot 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 r there is a column there is a column okay b j of b okay such that p j equal to such that p j equal to r e i okay b j i equal to e i understood then what happened then obviously c we write here c okay the columns of a number the columns of a okay numbered numbered j1 j2 jr j1 j2 dot 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 jr okay are linearly independent are linearly independent and number d for each k equal to one two dot 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 n for each k equal to one two dot 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 n if the column k of b is if the column k of b is okay d1 e1 t t2 e2 dot 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 t r e r okay then the column k of e is then the column k of e is okay then the column k of a is t1 is a1 d2 is a2 dot 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 dr is a r okay so it is a portion and going to further discussion of that here t1 is a1 and t2 is a2 and dot 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 tr is a r okay understood obviously we discussed in the means this one in early and in early class or in previous class okay that means in early session of class we also discuss this one now we write this statement of this theorem okay just statement of this theorem now we're going to uh, then 
related example okay so we going to discuss on one example related to that topics we erase that portion now Obviously, we write one corollary here. The reduced row equation form of matrix is unique. The reduced row equation form of a matrix is unique. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about this topic. Let A equal to 2, 4, 6, 2, 4. Okay. And 1, 2, 3, 1, 1. Here are 2, 4, 8, 0, 0. 2, 4, 8, 0, 0. And again 3, 6, 7. Okay. 5, 9. Understood then the reduced row equivalent from A is then the reduced row equivalent from okay of A is A is what here we write B then here one two zero 4 0 0 1 0 sorry 0 0 1 0 0 1 okay minus 1 0 and here 0 0 0 0 1 and here 0 0 0 0 0 okay in this way that means a reduced in b then what happened we see from that b has three non-zero rows okay what b has three non-zero rows three non-zero rows okay then the rank of a is three so rank of a is three understood and next obviously we talk about that the first third and fifth column of p are that means first third and fifth okay this one first third and fifth okay column is containing e1 e2 e3 okay then the first third and fifth column of a are linearly independent first third and fifth column are linearly independent understood first third and fifth column are linearly independent here we get first first third and fifth one represent this e1 okay understood so we um, that means we clay we um, that means we also conclude that first third and fifth column obviously linearly independent column of a understood in this way we also that means mm, we also handle this one now now we also that means write in this way if the columns of a we erase our portion and write in this way Okay, write it now. So we erase this total portion and then write some conclusion part of that example. Okay. So what is now? That means we write it here. The first, third, and fifth columns of B are the first, 
third and fifth column of fifth column of P R E one E three and E five. Understood? Not a problem at all. Sorry, E one, E two, E three. This one is respectively. Not a problem at all. Okay. Then obviously we talk about that the corresponding the corresponding corresponding first third and fifth column fifth column of of E are linearly independent are linearly independent okay then let the columns of a be denoted by this one let the columns of a be denoted by a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 okay then what happens that means because the second um, here and obviously because uh, the second column of b is 2e1 okay second column of b is 2e1 understood and obviously we write um, so so here a2 equal to 2a1 in this way okay then what happened then since the fourth column of b since the fourth column the fourth column of b is what if b is 4e1 plus minus 1e2 okay then the same result shows that the same result shows that what that means a4 equal to okay 4a1 plus minus 1a2 understood sorry here e2 corresponding to a3 so we write here a3 okay then in this way we also write same thing that means here um, this one this one is what that means the this one okay we write it now that means the one a one third and fifth are obviously linearly independent then second and fourth column second and fourth column of b is this so second and fourth column of a is that means satisfied this relation understood so there is a connection between this matrix and augmented matrix okay sorry matrix and after that means after we mm, getting reduced row equivalent from this matrix and original matrix have some connection okay then by elementary row operation we get this one reduced row equivalent from this matrix have some connection with this original matrix okay so understood this topics today i stop here if you get this type of video please subscribe my channel if you give like please click on like options if you have any questions comments suggestions write it in comment box so today i'll stop here thank you